Today, we are thrilled to announce the stable release of Android Studio Giraffe version 2022.3.1. In this Android Studio version, we've upgraded the IntelliJ platform to 2022.3 with lots of new features and bug fixes. And you can find some amazing Android-specific ID enhancements, like the brand new UI, an updated device explorer, and a new diagnostic and bug reporting tool for Android Studio. Some very useful coding productivity enhancements, like live edit to update composables in real time, compose animation previews, and a new Android SDK upgrade assistant. And last but not the least, build system improvements like the official Kotlin DSL support for Gradle build scripts, download info during Gradle sync, and much more. Now let's take a look at the updates in detail, how Android Studio Giraffe can help you supercharge your development productivity. Along with the much anticipated IntelliJ platform update, we are excited to share a preview of the new visual look that we call the new UI. The redesigned theme aims to reduce visual complexity, provide easier access to essential features, and disclose complex functionality only when needed, resulting in a modern and a clean look and feel. In this Giraffe release, we've created several Android Studio-specific changes in the new UI, such as optimizing the default main toolbar and tool window configurations for Android, and refreshing the iconography in this style. We are excited by this new design direction and will continue improving it in Android Studio Hedgehog and onwards. To use the new UI, go to Settings, then in Appearance and Behavior, Enable New UI. And as you try the new UI, please provide us detailed feedback through a new diagnostic and bug reporting tool that makes it easier to report bugs with relevant log files already attached. To find the new bug reporting tool, go to Help menu and select Collect Logs and Diagnostic Data. Also shipping with the new UI is an updated device explorer. In the updated device explorer, files and related actions are located in the Files tab. And in the New Process tab, you can view a list of debuggable processes for the connected device. From there, you can also select a process, perform a kill operation, force stop it, or attach the debugger to it. This is something a lot of app developers have requested. Live Edit lets you update composables in Android emulators and physical devices in near real time. You can now edit composables and see the UI changes on the running device without redeploying your app. This helps you to minimize the context switching between writing app and building your app, letting you focus on writing code for longer without any interruptions. Compose Animation Previews now support a number of additional Compose APIs, such as Animate As State, Crossfade, Remember Infinite Transitions, and much more. Additionally, now there are new pickers that let you set non-enum and boolean states to debug your Compose animations using very precise inputs. Moreover, all supported Compose Animations API, you can now play, pause, scrub, and even control the speed. The new Android SDK Upgrade Assistant lets you see the steps required to upgrade the target SDK version or the API level that your app targets directly in the IDE. For each migration step, it highlights the major breaking changes and how to address them. It even filters the full list of changes to only show you the steps which are relevant to your app. To open the Android SDK Upgrade Assistant, go to Tools and then select Android SDK Upgrade Assistant. Android developers love Kotlin because it is not only the more readable language, it also offers better compile time checking and IDE support. With Android Studio Giraffe, we are excited to share the official support for Kotlin DSL in your Gradle build scripts. This means that Kotlin is the single default language used in your app for all project code, including UI with Jetpack Compose, and now even build scripts too. Now, when you're creating new projects or modules, starting from Android Studio Giraffe, you can get Kotlin DSL by default. Have you ever wondered if any unexpected dependency downloads are negatively impacting your Gradle Sync performance? 
the new Gradle Sync tool window now includes a summary of time spent downloading every dependency and a detailed view of downloads per repository. This view updates live as sync takes place and helps you identify inefficiencies in how you configure your repositories. Typically, multilingual users set the system language to just one language, such as English. But they want to select other languages for specific apps, such as Dutch, Chinese, or Hindi. Android 13 introduced support for per-app language preferences. And now Android Gradle plugin 8.1 and higher can configure your app to support the language automatically based on the project's resources. With the Android Studio Giraffe, you can build only the current selected module you're working on by selecting the Make Selected Modules Build option in the toolbar. This new option lets you build the code you just wrote without building more than what's needed. And that's a wrap for all the new features in Android Studio Giraffe. Now it is the time for you to download Android Studio Giraffe to incorporate new features in your workflow. As always, we appreciate any feedback on things you like, any bugs you discover, or any new features you would like to see in the future versions of Android Studio. Remember to like this video, share it with a fellow Android app developer, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.